you know, if it were up to me, I would be staying in bed all day. Mm. All day. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. We've got our day at sea here, and we are going to be as lazy as possible. We have a few things that we want to check out today. And um, first things first, we're doing the late risers breakfast, which is, I believe, until 1030 to 1130. If you're wondering what the time is, it's like nearly 11. We got to get going to breakfast if we want it. Yes. I don't think room service is uh, an option for breakfast anymore. We're not moving. We're not? No. We're pretty much just stationed. <laughs> we're not even moving. If it is, we're going like 0 .001 knots. <laughs> Wait, I don't feel like I've ever seen this. Wow. I'm very happy I kept an open mind about this ship, mm -hmm. but let me tell you, this has been actually the worst bed I think I've slept on. I've just woke up in so much pain. It, it's just, it hasn't, it hasn't been it. And like my hips hurt. I don't know. This bed is, uh, is bad. It doesn't really feel like they have too much going around the ship. This is definitely like a party ship um, versus more of entertainment. It is Easter day, so happy Easter, everybody. This is like the Easter special. I've never been on a cruise ship on Easter. They have some scavenger hunts. We're gonna check everything that they, they have that we find entertaining for you guys and entertaining for us. Um, but that's about it. We're kind of just gonna chill and have a nice, relaxing, food, fun-filled, fun day. Maybe some gambling. I might be in tomorrow's video. I don't know if I'm making two videos yet. We'll see. We'll see. In the meantime, I want to go get some breakfast. I think I'll hide a duck too. <laughs> That's the highlight of the day. How did we go? I forgot today's Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta take this off. Wait, do you want to do it now or do you want to do it when we come back? Yeah, let's we'll see when we get back. Easter on a cruise ship. I have a feeling everywhere we go there's going to be people today. Obviously it's it's day at sea, so we'll see how it is. We're going to seize the day. I'm ready for the crowds. It sounds pretty packed up here. No, it's not bad at all. But they're already serving lunch. Not really packed here for late breakfast. Most people must be getting their drinking game on or something. Casey's in line for the omelets. Wait till you see these omelets. They actually look delicious. And her line is moving so much faster. It's really weird. That looks amazing. There's barely a line if you want to yeah. go get one. No, it's okay. That is, oh my gosh. She got a whole bowl of omelet, and I, this line's supposed to be moving faster. We'll sit over here. I feel like late breakfast is the vibe here. I like this, not even crowded. Pretty great. So that was the only breakfast location. We thought it was gonna be over here, but it's actually really nicely at the front. We're gonna go to the same spot as yesterday. I kind of like this two-tiered system. Old-fashioned barbecue Casey. There's barbecue up there. We gotta try that. Oh my gosh, and they make it in front of you. That's gotta be good. Oh, our spot's open, let's go. This is the little hack, no one comes up here. I haven't really showed you guys the coffee you can get to go, the setup, because uh, Casey has been the one to, to get us it all the time. It's just these machines. What do you just press regular and it comes yep. out? Oh wow. So they have decaf, regular, and then this is hot water right here. Cool. This is yours. We gotta try this barbecue. I didn't even see it. We were talking to some friends that were sailing out of Miami on the Freedom yesterday in Nassau, and they said their food was horrible. And we're like, our food is pretty good. Like, we expected worse, but the food. It's good food. It's not bad. Remember how we were talking to some friends yesterday that were on the Freedom? Oh, yeah. And they said their food wasn't wasn't great? Yeah, they were not very pleased with the food on Royal Caribbean. But at least on that ship. I don't know about the others. Yeah, you, Royal Caribbean is usually good, but... That's what I... I mean, my experience is always Here we go. Good. Let's feast. Quick little look before we feast. Oh, wow. I don't need... I just want one. 
Holy cow. I got spinach, peppers, onions, bacon, and white cheese. It's a so-so omelet. It's gonna do the trick, but it looks better than it tastes. Now these hash browns. Uh, okay. I think breakfast is the, the worst meal. meal. They, they and I'm a big breakfast person. Usually I love breakfast, but yeah. Lunch and dinner is worth that. I agree. Breakfast is just like, we're just getting started. Um, it's definitely the most cheap that you can get on the ship here. Like, I don't know. You'll see today. So with that, I give breakfast about a 5 out of 10. Kind of deserves that. It looks good, but it doesn't really taste the greatest. You know, we've had so much better on Virgin Voyages for the Caribbean. But it gets better. Trust us. If you guys have been following along with this series, you guys know. Hopefully I don't break my teeth on this bagel. Oh, not that bad. I think what we're trying to say with all of this, don't feel bad to skip breakfast. Because I don't want to eat to fill my appetite for all this good other food that we still have yet to try. The burgers, this barbecue place. I want to try it all. The nice thing is, we're, well, I'm going to go get a slice of pizza. It opens in two minutes. <laughs> It's right around the corner downstairs. Not really crowded right now at the moment. I feel like everyone's spread out. We're here for pizza, we're rope dropping it. It doesn't really look like this is gonna be a fast pizza experience. It looks like there's only one person making all of the pizzas. It's worth it though, it's so good. All right. Pizza, the pizza, the pizza. I feel really bad for the guy making the pizzas because it's a one man show. He does it quick. But I just really wish there was somebody else there helping him to speed up the operation. And so he's just not so busy and lonely. But we finally got our pizza. The person in front of us grabbed like six slices. So we literally got the last one, thankfully. And um, we did just see two, they made Easter cakes. They're so cute. They made Easter cakes. Gonna have to try that. It's almost 12 o'clock. That's when everything opens. Again, the pizza opens at 11.30. Love that. So if you wanna skip breakfast and go right to lunch, pizza, 11.30, and then everything else opens at 12. I'm still drinking my coffee. That's all I have. Also, you're not gonna be able to pick what slice you, you want because it's just batch order and he throws it up there and what's up there is what you get. Otherwise, you're gonna sit there and wait for the next batch, which could be about another six to eight minutes. Mm. Good? Not as good as yesterday or no? Not as good as yesterday. Not as good. Doesn't look as crispy. Yeah. Probably it's actually got like an off taste too to it. Oh. Like there's blue cheese on here. Kind of what it tastes like. Really? Yeah, yesterday the pizza was really good. I think it was just something in the sauce. It made it, the, yesterday was the best pizza at sea, kind of. And this is like the worst pizza at sea. It, it just, Something wrong with the sauce. It was really bad. Not for me. It tastes like blue cheese. I think this is my coldest day ever at sea. We've got a gloomy, overcast day. It feels to be about 69 degrees. I think that's what the temperature says. It's actually chilly. It's a, it's a different vibe for sure. We've got a rainstorm coming. Storm. Did I say store? Also, if you guys get a balcony kind of where we did, I think anywhere on the ship, you can hear the party going up on deck nine. Not quite sure if you guys can hear the thumping of the music. Just something to note. Again, this is sort of kind of more like a a party party Maybe ship. Cha cha slide. <laughs> Let's do it. Do the cha cha. <laughs> We're about to get going here. We have a game show. We wanted to see the the love marriage show. It's always fun to be a part of. Besides, it's gonna start raining soon. I feel like it's getting really close. Yeah. Speaking of a storm at sea, I really want to be part of a hurricane cruise, just to kind of be like a reporter and see what all kind of goes down. I mean, I hope that never happens, but I feel like it'd be so cool and entertaining to be documenting kind of that whole frightening experience. I was on a crew, a Disney cruise, the Disney Dream during a tropical storm weekend, and that was interesting we had to switch our days at um 
their private island to the next day because of the storm. We're in the rainstorm. Not sure if you guys can see that. It's a quick storm. Oh, we shake this off. We just figured out that you have to pay for room service, but we're headed to love and marriage. Not sure how much we're gonna film. <laughs> or be able to film. Hello. We'll Hi. see. But it's always fun to be a part of. Oh yes, we're, yep, we're, we're good now. we just took it off. Since it's still currently raining out, we're just gonna go to this show. A lot of people there's so many announcements. Good afternoon, Carnival Liberty family. This announcement is for Leticia Riggins. Ooh. To kindly contact guest services located on deck three or someone's dial in trouble. Seven, 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 seven. Down to three. Go down to three. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it's because the pool door is probably open. Casey has channeled her inner me. Yes, I was very cold in my shorts, so I changed. I'm way more comfy. We're all black and white shoes. And the white socks. Look at that. Wow, that is Kyle Pell. When I was packing, I was like, what would Kyle wear? <laughs> You're just missing your hat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have a chicken hat. Oh, you should have worn that. At least on our ship, no one's been showing up to the shows. I'm going to be really mad if a lot of people show up to this one because we're kind of kind of late. These ones are usually always funny. Our ship is barely moving, but I can totally feel it moving. Does that make sense? Not really. Let's go like way up to the right. We've got Mardi Gras masks. This is like themed to a uh, carnival. The Carnival Mardi Gras. We gotta go on that ship, Casey. Yes, we do. I really want to. I really feel like overall though, I feel like we keep saying it, but I really want to stress it. It's The ship has definitely surprised us. Yes. Really has. I do smell smoke right now, cigarettes. I don't know if someone's smoking. It's kind of weird. I didn't think you were allowed to smoke in the theater. I don't think you can. See that lady's doing it too. You see that? She it smells it. Strong. It is strong. Someone is smoking in here. What an idiot. from the casino. I don't know, but this is like a must-see on the cruise. The must-see, guys. After this, we're going to get something to eat. And uh, probably go around the ship to see what it's like a day at sea. Bingo is in this room after. We're deciding if we're going to do bingo. I honestly think we should. Depends how much it is. Yeah. But usually it, it's something you know, like 60 or 80. It's like, you know, it's a guaranteed yeah, loss. I don't want to do that. We'll see. But if it's like 15, sometimes they're only like around 15 could or be. 30. Could be. That could be worth it. We'll see. It's The sales are going outside right now. So after the show, we'll see if they're still yes. available. If not, we'll do what we did. What I told you guys. We're about to do the love and marriage show. Who's excited? Where's my married couples? Make some noise. One of these days, yeah, if we ever get engaged no or married, we should do this. Do we have anyone else that can beat nine months? Yes. 54 years. He's like, I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god, life's going on. Happy life, happy life. I guess I'll hang along. <laughs> Question number four. Between the two of you, who won the last argument? Number six. Between the two of you, who has the most annoying family member? And we are also looking for a name. Here we go. Question number seven. I'm looking for the strangest place you have ever had ice cream. Ice cream. I feel like the show that we just went to is a new cruise staple that I have to do pretty much every time if it's available. It's so funny. Really hard to film, but it is it is such a hoot. I'm outside right now. We've got a rough sea today, and it kind of smells like poop. Something's going on here. Oh, what's wrong with those people? So many songs in the world. All I know is now we go get some food. I feel like for a lot of people, this cruise is drinking. But again, it's literally just been to eat for Casey and I. Lines for days for the burger place. It's about 120. 
There's like two lines being formed. Oh, there's a toppings bar. Heard nothing but amazing things about this burger joint. We gotta wait in line. We'll see how long it takes. It wraps all the way around. What an overcast, gloomy day. So in more retrospect, the line is right here. We gotta go all the way over there. It's always been busy, especially around this time. There's also a second line forming right there. So there's like two lines. Pick your poison. But of course, there's nothing for the blue iguana. It's just for the burger joint. Blue iguana was just okay on this ship. I'm guessing everybody figured that out and wants burgers. It's always going to be crowded here. It stinks too because people are crossing. Just not enough space on the ship for the demand. Parts of this cruise ship really smell and we're in a really smelly area right now. It might be the hand washing station, honestly. It smells really bad. When we passed the one on the other side, it started smelling. This side, it started smelling. My guess is that thing right behind us. Or it's the bathroom. <laughs> Could be the bathroom. We got freshly made patties, baby. Holy camoly. It's really interesting to see how this works. They go as quick as they can. It took about 25 minutes though. I'm hoping this isn't like our breakfast burrito where it looks good but it doesn't taste too hot. But considering it was such a long line and it's Guy's Burgers, it has to be good, right? It just has to be. We already had some fries. Fries are bomb.com. They're pretty oh, good. Yeah. Let's have a bite of this unhealthy madness. Here we go. Okay, honestly, I was expecting it to be up here because I've been in the Carnival Mardi Gras. Not comparing, just you know, showing you guys which ones I like better or whatnot. That one melted in your mouth more than this does. It's a good burger, but it's not as good as the one on the Carnival Mardi Gras off the first bite. It's good. It's not great. Probably wouldn't wait in line for that again versus the Mongolian. Mongolian, that is where I'll wait two hours for it. I give this a uh, 6 out of 10. It's not like you have to try it, guys. It was just just okay for me. I was expecting so much better. Fries are amazing, though. Right now, we're kind of just vibing, but we kind of just discovered the barbecue is only open for lunch. It's closed for dinner. We don't think we're going to dinner just because we kind of want to eat more around the ship, whatever we can have. We, kind of, we haven't had the buffet yet, so we want to try that for you guys. The main dinner we've tried it and the upscaling we've tried that as well but in a second here we're going to start just roaming just to see what everyone's kind of doing here at the day of sea and where people tend to go hello paradise whoa it's so windy it is so windy out guys a lot of people kind of are at the back of the of the ship this hasn't been closed once it's where the pizza is technically the indoor and outdoor pool now the whole idea about walking around this ship is basically to uh, now compare the ship from our first impressions to what we feel about the ship on day three, day at sea, and also to see what people are doing. Because our first impression, well my first impression was this is not a ship for me, but it's totally changed now. Totally changed. The first day, no one was up here and no one's up here again. This is actually the running track. It's like a very tiny thing. We totally missed this, but this area is completely pointless. No one, no one comes up here. <laughs> it's so windy. Well, they do have, what is that, shuffleboard? Shuffleboard. They have shuffleboard, and then this track is weird because it's not just like a normal circular track. It's very zigzag. Yeah, it's funny. So you gotta, it's really a running course. <laughs> it's so windy, I feel like I'm a weatherman in a hurricane. Thing's huge. It's really big. You come up here, no one really works out. It's really nice, you kind of have a whole deck to yourself. The basketball is up there. Oh, mini golf. There is mini golf. We should do that. Should we mini golf? Yeah, what's up? Here's how everyone's enjoying the deck. Not as crowded as day one, obviously. But this is where I was like, oh, I can just tell the age of the ship. It doesn't seem too bad today. I want to go to the adult only section to see how people are util utilizing that. We have people on the basketball court, so that's definitely being utilized. Whereas when we were on our last cruise, we were the only ones 
I think that use the basketball court. We've got kids playing volleyball like 20 on 20. <laughs> I feel like once we come up here, they've stopped playing the music, but I guarantee you when we go into a room, they'll be thumping music. We caught it when it's not like in its active party party mode. This ship is weird because they, they place like a playground by the adult only. Overall, it's turned out to be a beautiful day, except the crazy wind gusts. Super windy. It's just not ideal for a day at sea. Oh goodness. I'm glad I didn't what try was that? I can't hear you. I'm glad I didn't try to do my hair today. Woo! <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's too many people enjoying the adult only section. I want to see if that bar is open downstairs, right below us on this deck. Lots of spots open. Not many people are, are in the adult section, which is super nice. Super duper nice. We could get a spot right now if we. Ultimately wanted to. The adult only bar is open. There's not much of a line. There's one place we haven't found on this ship. Oh, is it heavy? Sorry. Is the gym. We don't know if they have a gym. Really don't think they have a gym on this ship. Not like we would use it, but. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, I don't they think they do. They don't. They have a kids place right here we just found. Camp they really Ocean. Do. They do have a gym? I know where that is. Let's, yeah, let's go find it. This is where you can drop off your kids. <laughs> Penguins are aged two to five. Stingrays six to eight, and sharks are nine to eleven. That's cute, and it's very secure. I would hope so. Yeah. Right, let's go Trust find that gym. Them. Oh gosh. I know. I just saw that it was gonna fall off. It does look like it's gonna Some fall off. Restrooms here. It's been kind of hard to find restrooms on the ship. I agree. I agree on that. <laughs> Guys, we're still doing the no chair. Oh, the no chair, I can't even talk. The no stair. And the gym is right here, right below. The children's place. Same with the spa. We almost did get a spa package, but we elected not to. Casey had to go in the women's locker room. I have to go through the man's. Oh, okay. Wait, can we just come in here and use the sauna in the steam room? Look at this. Yo. Found the gym. Oh, it's right. Oh, this is a beautiful view. Hardly anybody in here. Casey, I think we're like one of the only ones in here. Like, I don't even have my phone because Kyle has my phone. There's <laughs> scary in there. Wait, it's, it's huge over here. Yeah, it's actually so nice. Wow. There's more equipment in here. Did you see the, the sauna in there? No. We have a sauna in ours. I, oh there there was gosh. a lady in there too. I think you can come. I don't. I think it's free because there's no way. You just be like, I'm going to the gym, but you're at the sauna. Mm -hmm. I almost went into the salon by accident. What's this? This is a very a trippy class? room. Whoa. Oh my goodness. A room of mirrors. There's so many chairs. <laughs> I mean, we do look like we're ready to work out. Because huh? we're... Kyle's always ready to work out. <laughs> the sauna and steam room are actually free, I just asked. That is a cool perk. You have to pay for that to go in the rainforest at Disney. And there's like nobody here. But I think it's uh, divided by sexes. Men's and women's locker room. So Casey had one in her uh, women's locker room. Mm -hmm. The downside is like we can't enjoy it together. I'm yeah. sure we could just like sneak in. No, but like in mine there were two women in there already. But That's it's not weird. like, I mean, you still have to wear clothes when you're in their bathing suits. So it's not like, uh. you know. I, I don't know why it's separate. I think that's a little weird. Strange. I, is that normal on cruise ships? No, in the rainforest they don't have that. You think we have a tall animal? Ooh, what? It's what? It's the artist that I was telling you about. Oh, this guy. Frito. Yeah. That's oh. cute. It's art auction today, Maybe. technically. We get something? Oh, we did! Oh. 
Aww. Look at that. We have to head out by 8.30 a.m. Oh, snap. Oh, gosh. It says, thank you. We know you need to head out by 8.30 a.m. We Do didn't. We? <laughs> we didn't know. So just that, everybody, that's going to be it for part one today of our last day here on the Carnival Liberty. Tomorrow, we're going to be bringing part two with the one and only gambling video. And we're still kind of scrambling for what we're doing for dinner. We don't really know yet. I'm um, just going to do something different because we... Um, Pretty much have done all the other options. And with like main dining, we, we've gotten that. Let's see what else there is on this ship. So with that, we'll see you guys tomorrow. More relaxed type vlog here today, which is what we really wanted. We actually just got a nap for about 15 minutes, which was pretty great. So with that, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.